We are in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and over the next several days, we're going to be exploring the sites, frying the local food, and experience some of the culture here in Buenos Aires. Good morning everyone, we are exploring Buenos Aires for the next several days and we are kicking it off right here in the Ricoleta, I'm probably butchering that, cemetery, which I know sounds kind of a little bit morbid, but it's like on all the top things to do in Buenos Aires, so we're going to go explore that and we'll tell you guys some facts along the way. This cemetery was built in 1822 and it has over 6,400 statues, sarcophagi, and crypts, which is crazy. And I guess I could see, you know, because there's just so many of these everywhere. This labyrinth of a city for the dead contains the graves of notable people in Argentina's history, such as presidents and Nobel Prize winners. It's easy to spend a lot of time here as it stretches for 14 acres and is so eerily beautiful. Alright, so we just left the cemetery. On the way in, we passed by this guy who's dressed as a dead person playing a saw as a musical instrument. And at first I didn't get it, but now that we've left the cemetery, definitely makes sense to me. <laughs> Just, it seems very fitting having this kind of creepy figure playing. It's, it's really great. <laughs> now we're going to go and explore more sites. One thing we're running into since we've been here is that there's lots of closures around the holidays. So especially New Year, that's like the big time. So we're definitely behind in videos, but at the time of being here, we're here of New Year's week and like so many places are closed that I was gonna visit all the Netflix, oh that wind. I was gonna visit all the Netflix street food locations for Buenos Aires but like one of them is closed. We tried going to one yesterday and that was closed. So there's one more we can go to, but yeah, we've found just tons of restaurants and everything. The week of New Year's, they just are closed. Luckily for us, the next day we were able to head to one of the Netflix street food famous restaurants just outside of Buenos Aires. It's literally in a warehouse. It's a place where everyone's crowded around. Bienvenidos. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Dónde viene? Los Estados Unidos. Wow, bueno, bienvenidos. ¿Van a comer aquí con nosotros? Sí. ¿Qué les parece? Nos gustaría probar lo, las uh, tortillas. Muy bien. Ah. Verdura, onion y cheese. Okay. Perfecto. ¿Sí? Gracias. Okay. Guys, so we just got our first thing. We're waiting on the tortilla. This is an empanada with a bunch of vegetables. Ooh. Is uh, KS? Spicy. It's chimichurri oh. or? No, it's called shakwa. 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 It's tomate, eh, un chili, que es locoto. Ah, okay. Un ají típico del norte argentino. Y una hierba, que en este caso es guacatay. Okay. Tomate, locoto y guacatay. Okay. Right. Gracias. Pica, pica suave. Okay. I'm going to try it with the sauce. Oh, so good. 
Is wow. it the best empanada we've had? Yep, I think so. The sauce is made so nice with it too. Awesome. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm so excited. I've fantasized about this ever since watching the Netflix street food show. Let's go. So much cheese. Let me get a close up. That is cheese. Let's go for it. That is literally happening. It's so good, honey. You're gonna love it. I've lived up to the <laughs> expectations from Netflix. Yeah, it's so good. Wow. Oh my goodness, name. So cool. That's gonna have like 2,000 calories or something. <laughs> That was awesome. It was just like the Netflix show depicted. They definitely work together and they seem like they have fun. It's really great customer service too. They they joke around with the, the customers and like are very like personable. Yeah. Wow. Oh well, look at that cheese. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Netflix documentary, definitely go take a look. It will make you want to come to Buenos Aires just to try this. Yeah, it definitely did that. So, of all the Netflix ones we had to miss, we're glad we at least got to go to this one. It was awesome. Food's amazing. So, so good. good. We are about to do something that I am super excited about. We are about to go tango dancing. Well, it's like a tango dance night. Airbnb experience, which we've never used Airbnb experiences before. So not really sure what to expect, but as I understand it, we're gonna be learning tango and also kind of learning about the history of it. It has kind of a special meaning to us, I think, because we really got into ballroom style dancing when we were first dating so many years ago and tango was one of those that we we did it a little bit but we never were really that good at it we so did mostly the american american tango. style tango so yeah. so we've actually for a long time we've talked about being able to do this and seeing argentine tango which we have seen here when we planned our around the world trip originally we had this little image of people tango dancing every time we put Buenos Aires on our little like planning wall and so it's nice to see that actually come all together I think we're just gonna bring our phones so we'll try to film a little bit and then we'll tell you guys about it afterwards it is the next morning and I wanted to fill you in quickly before we head to our next activity on the tango dancing last night. It was really nice, honestly, a great first experience with Airbnb experiences. We went to essentially this dance studio and there was this woman who literally was trilingual and kept switching between those three languages throughout the whole class, which was crazy. They taught us like a little dance routine in addition to just some of the basics. and then just talked to us about tango, showed us where we could go to Milongo if we want to. I'm not sure if we're going to because we are early to bed people and they essentially don't start until like midnight. So don't know if that's gonna happen this trip, but today we are gonna have something exciting. We're gonna go head out to a bike tour. I've never done like an actual official bike tour. Like we've done some DIY ones, but I wanted to just kind of have someone tell us the history while on a bike. It's literally like $18 per person, so for a four hour tour, so it's really not bad. Okay guys, we are on our walking tour. We're in the La Boca area. Well, biking tour. Or biking tour, yeah. And see colorful buildings behind us. It's kind of like a colorful area. La Boca, 
It was a madhouse. Like we didn't even film much because you're literally so crowded with people and everyone's just trying to get photos by the colorful buildings and that type of thing is literally like our idea of a nightmare where people just go to get Instagram shots. So, whew, got out of that. So we are at the Rio Plata, which is the widest river in the world. So that's not an ocean, that's a river that's just crazy wide. And I think at some point on the other side of it is actually Uruguay. All right, so we got back from the bike tour several hours ago. We were honestly a little disappointed. It just felt like a long bike ride through the city. There wasn't a ton of explanation, but it was still nice to just do a little exercise and see some parts of the city. We're back here at our place and we got this pizza. Well, I call it a pizza, but I'm not sure that it actually is a pizza. We got it from this small little shop where like there's not even seats to sit down. And literally she just like cuts like a piece of the pizza out and hands it to you and it ends up looking like this. What you can do is you get this which is called faina and it's made of garbanzo bean flour I think? Entirely yeah. Yeah entirely made of garbanzo bean flour and you slap it on the pizza which I don't like I said I don't think it's pizza it might be fugazetta but it's like so good. yeah it's really good like there's like cheese and onions and you just put this on top and you take a bite It's so flavorful. Mm. We really wanted to try mate, which is really popular here in Argentina and also Chile. We went to three different restaurants to try and try it, but none of them had it, which was surprising. So we're going to try it here at our Airbnb because they actually have the mate here. So this is what it looks like. And you drink it out of a container that looks like this. And the straw, has like little like a filter on it so you don't suck up a bunch of leaves so we're gonna give this a try so we're supposed to fill it the gourd so this is like a gourd with about two-thirds to three-quarters full it seems like a ton are we really supposed to fill it this full i guess so <laughs> they drink it like all day here that's good Okay. Covering the top, you're supposed to cover the top. Okay. <laughs> After trying to make the mate for some time, we finally tried it. The national drink of Argentina, guys. You have some, don't say anything, then I'll taste it. Okay, all right. Yeah, you know, it tastes a little bit like black tea mixed with green tea, but like five times as strong. So from my understanding, yerba is a plant and it has, it's like naturally caffeinated. Well, it's not caffeine, it's matine. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is like very similar to caffeine, but just like slightly different, slightly less powerful. I'm glad we tried it. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is part of experiencing Argentinian culture. Ooh. Wow. We are at Iguazu Falls. So impressive on this side of the world. Hi. Whoa. 